Now let's try to install the GUI tool to interact with our MySQL database, which is called MySQL Workbench. So to do that, let's go to our browser. And this time we are going to install MySQL Workbench using Snap Package Manager. Snap Package Manager is created from the makers of Ubuntu itself. So it's a nicer way of installing packages. Just search for Snap uh, MySQL Workbench and the first link which will appear here will be from snapcraft.io. So just click on that link. And from here you can install different versions, right? Just click on install uh, button here and then copy this command, which is sudo snap install MySQL workbench community. And then uh, let me just exit from this terminal, clear this terminal and then paste this uh, command here, which is sudo snap install MySQL workbench community. It's going to install this GUI client for MySQL so that uh, you can use this GUI client from next time to interact with your MySQL server, right? Once this command is finished, uh, MySQL Workbench is installed. So you can either go to your application and search for uh, MySQL Workbench and you can see this icon here, MySQL Workbench. Click on the MySQL Workbench. Let me minimize everything else here and then it's going to start this MySQL workbench here, right? The default port for uh, MySQL is 3306, you can see. So I can uh, just click on this uh, local instance connection here. And here you need to give the password. As I said, in my case, the password is simple, which is root, which I have set, but uh, if you have set the different password, give the password here and then click on OK, which is going to connect to your local MySQL server and it's going to show you this kind of interface, right? So now here you can see all instances, server status, uh, client connections, right? So everything you will be able to see from this MySQL workbench. So here you have uh, the option to create tables, option to create schemas and all the other things, right? So this is how you can um, install MySQL Workbench, which is a GUI tool to interact with your MySQL database. So here you can see you have the option to connect to your database if you have already created a database. And uh, if you haven't created a database, you can create one. So default schema, the schema to use as default schema, leave blank to select later, right? Click OK. And then you are uh, connected to the local instance, which is here also, we were already connected to the local instance already in the first tab. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.